Welcome to George Way Math TV. Use these signs to compare the following. How am I going to do this? All right. Oh, I was taught that when the numbers are the same, I just have to use an equal sign. Oh, that's easy. Negative 6, negative 6 is the same. So I use the equal sign. What about this one? There are two different numbers, and when I have two different numbers, I always have to use a number line. So let me just draw a number line really quick. I'm supposed to have a zero, and I have to make sure that these numbers are on the number line. So for the number line, I have a one. I was, let's say my one is right here. It goes up by one, right? Two, three. And then on the left side is negative, right? So for negative... This is negative 1, and it keeps going, negative 2, negative 3. That's how I draw my number line. So now that I have my number line, I just want to make sure I put a point at where I see these two numbers. So this 1 is right here. This negative 1 is right there. And I learned that always the number on the left is lower. Oh, this is lower and the number on the right is bigger so negative one is lower positive one is bigger okay so now that i know which one is lower and bigger which sign am i supposed to use okay i learned that i always use a sign that will if it turns the back on the number that one is lower so we said the negative one is lower right so i have to use the sign that will turn the back on negative one and it's eating the one so that's why we know the one is bigger okay oh no that, that wasn't bad that wasn't bad okay all right all right I got this all right let me do the last one three and six all right I can just put on the number line again real quick I have my zero right here let's say my three and then six and then here too is going backwards. This is going backwards, right? So negative three, negative six. And where are these points or these numbers on the number line? This three is right there. This six is right there. All right? So now we say always the number on the left is lower. So this is left, this is right. Left, right, left, right, left. All right. So left is this one right here. So that means three is lower and this is what is bigger because it's on the right. So now that I know three is lower, I have to choose the sign that will turn the back on three. And that will be this sign because it's turning the back on three. And we said six was bigger, right? And it's eating the six. Oh, that wasn't bad. All right. So I always have to use a number line when I'm comparing two numbers. That helps a lot. Please don't forget to subscribe, tap the bell to be notified for new videos, and share.